The people in a line waiting to buy tickets to a show are standing one behind the other. Adam and Beth are among the people in the line and Beth is standing behind Adam with a number of people between them. So let's assume that we have a window right here and at this window Beth is standing behind Adam. So we have Adam at some place, we may have a few people and then we have Beth here with a number of people between them. If the number of people in front of Adam, let's assume it is X plus the number of people behind Beth, that means these people, let's call it Y is 18. That means now we know the first information is X plus Y is equal to 18. How many people in the line are behind Beth? So we need to find out the value of Y. Now, let's also assume that number of people between A and B is Z and start seeing the statements. The first statement says that there are a total of 32 people in the line. So we know that X plus Y plus Z plus 2 this 2 is for a and b is equal to 32 which means x plus y plus z is equal to 30 and since we know x plus y is 18 so we can say z is equal to 30 minus 18 which is equal to 12 but we cannot find the value of y therefore we say that the first statement alone is not sufficient to answer the question and we can eliminate option a and option d here let's check the second statement the second statement is 23 people are in the line, in the line are behind Adam. So the number of people behind Adam is equivalent to y plus z plus 1. This 1 is for b, y plus z plus 1. And this is equal to 23, that means we know y plus z is equal to 22. But since we know nothing about z, so we can't find out the value of y and therefore the second statement alone as well is not sufficient to answer the question. Option B is also out. The next step is to combine the two statements and combination of the two statements tells us that Z is equal to 12 from first statement. Y plus Z is equal to 22 which means Y will be equal to 22 minus 12 that is 10 a unique value which means the statements together are sufficient and the final answer to the question is option C. I hope you enjoyed the explanation. Thank you so much.